The Java Util List Interface is part of the Java Collections API. The list interface represents an ordered list of objects, and by ordered means that the list can be iterated in a certain order, and it also means that each object can be accessed at a certain position in the list. In the um, example I've shown here, we, the list contains four objects, and if you iterate the list, you will start with the first object, then you will access the second, then the third, and then the fourth. You can also access each of these objects directly, by passing the um, index to the list interface method, get method. Uh, we will get back to that later. But then you can jump directly to object number three in the list or two or whatever. The four most commonly seen implementations of the list interface is the array list, the linked list, the vector, and the stack. Uh, in modern applications, you will uh, you will not use the vector very much, the vector implementation very much. It is uh, basically similar to the array list, except that all methods in the vector class uh, are synchronized. And this might be useful if you were making a multi-threaded application, but there are still many other ways to um, as your um, exclusive access to a vector than synchronizing all the methods. So in practice, the vector class is not very much used anymore. The array list is um, a list of objects that uh, are stored in an array, or the references to the op to the objects are stored in an array. And that makes it very fast to access a given object because you can jump directly to a certain index in the array and uh, access it there. The disadvantage of an array list is that you may not know ahead of time how many elements you want into the list and that means you may have to allocate an array of say 25 or 100 um, elements or objects but you may only have three or four elements in the array list and so you might waste a little bit of space. And another disadvantage is that once you reach the capacity, you see in this example I have only space for five objects in the array. Once you reach the capacity of the array list, it has to expand, and that means that you have to create a new array that is bigger than the old array and copy all the object references to the new array. The linked list does not have this disadvantage um, because it consists of uh, linked of uh, list elements that point to each other and that means that in order to expand the list you can just create one or the list just creates one new uh, list element at the bottom here and puts a, a pointer from the previous uh, end of the list element to this new end of the list element. Uh, so the linked list has the advantage that it never uses more memory than you actually need but it has the disadvantage that it's slow to access elements in because in order to find, say, element number three, you have to first go to element number one, then number two, then number three in the list. So you have to find the first element and you follow the reference to the next element and then from the next element follow the reference to the next element and so on and so forth. And that makes searching in a linked list much slower than in an array list. In practice, because of how modern computer hardware works with the cache and et etc., where um, CPUs are very fast at searching through uh, sequential sequences or areas of, of memory. The array list is by far the fastest to use and in most cases you can live with a little bit of extra wasted space in case you know that the space that is wasted by allocating more space in the array that is actually needed. The stack class also implements the list interface, but since you normally use a stack slightly different than you do a list, I will leave it out of this video. Now let's jump in and see some code examples of how to use the uh, Java Util list interface. First, I've created a single class here with a main method in, and then I will create a list here, my list, um, and I will create a new array list. That is how it's done and as you can see I have to import both array list and the list interface and you can see the imports um, are shown up here at the top of the, um, the code window. 
And this is all it takes to create an instance of an array list and assign it to a variable of type list. And since array list implements the list interface, this assignment is perfectly valid. Now let's add some elements to the list. You add elements to the list by calling the um, the list uh, add method, and this is how it looks. Now the list is uh, untyped, and that means that it contains objects. I mean elements or uh, objects of type object, and that means that we can put any kind of object into it. As you can see here, I put a string into it. Um, I can put more elements or more objects into the list simply by calling the add method several times. The add method adds the uh, object that is passed to it as parameter to the list and it adds it at the end of the list. So that means this time the first here adds this object as number zero in the list. Uh, the, the list is zero indexed so even though it says object one it actually has index zero. The next object will be added with index 1 and the next will be added with index 2. If I want to remove an element from the list or an object from the list, I can call the, the list remove method. And um, the remove uh, method can either take an object to remove, and that means that you have to it has to be a reference to an object that is already in the list, or simply an index and in this case I will just use an index and I will pass index 2 and that means this is the last element in the list here the object 3 string that will be removed from the list. It is possible to access the elements of the list um, using the index and you use the get method of the list interface to do that and for instance if I want to access element, the first very first element in the list, I can simply call get with an index of zero. That is the first element in the list. And of course I have to assign it to some variable. So that is how it looks. Um, in order to get this to a string, because I know that I have only put strings into the list, I would have to um, cast it. Right? I would have to cast whatever get the get method returns like this. To obtain the size of a list, you simply call the size method like this. Size returns the number of objects in the list at any given time. There are three ways to iterate a list, and um, by iterating I mean accessing the elements one at a time, starting with the first one and then finishing with the last element in the list. The first uh, method here is to use an iterator, and this is the old way. Um, uh, of um, uh, iterating a list. And you obtain an iterator from a list simply by calling the iterator method on the list. And um, the iterator has a has next method, and this will return true as long as the iterator has more elements in the list to iterate. So this is how you can um, create a while loop that iterates through all the elements in the list. And um, to obtain the next element in the list uh, th through the iterator, you simply call the iterator next method. And that returns the next um, object in the list. And it moves also, it also moves the pointer to uh, the next element in the list so that the next time you call iterator next, it will call again, it will uh, return the next element and then the next element after that and the next element after that. So once this while loop uh, finishes, this uh, loop here, this while loop will have um, executed one time for each object in the list. And this next uh, variable here will have been bound to each element in the list one at a time, one time for or one object for each iteration. And um, 
the second way to iterate um, a list is to use the new for loop that was added in Java 5 and you do like this and that's pretty much it that's all you need to write first of all you tell the for loop what list um, or collection in general to iterate and then you say well each uh, element or each object in the list as I iterated should be bound to this variable and that means that in here for each iteration the next variable is bound to uh, in the first iteration this object one here string and then in the second iteration the object two string and in the third it will be bound to the object three string so that is the second way the last way I will show you is to simply iterate through the list using a standard for loop I will start with index i equals zero and as long as i is less than the size of the list I will increment i like this then I can access each element in the list simply by calling get with i as parameter now this version here is every bit as fast as this and this if you're using an array list there's no difference however if you're using a linked list this is a very slow way of iterating a list because let's say you in, in uh, iteration 10 then in order to get element number 10 you first have to go to element number one then number two three four five six seven eight nine and then ten that is how uh, you obtain element number 10 in a linked list so the further into the you know the the, the more iterations you perform the the longer uh, the closer towards the end of the list in a linked list you get the slower this way of iterating the list becomes but for an array list it's just fine the last thing I want to show you is how to empty a list and uh, you do so by calling the uh, clear method on the list once the clear method has been executed all elements will be removed from the list and exactly how the um, the list implementation uh, cleans up its internal storage it depends on the list implementation actually there's just one more thing that I want to to show you how to do and that is to how to create a generic list or list with a type set on it um, by default when you create a list you can add any kind of object to it look at this I can add a new integer to the list right like this all objects can go into such a list because it's untyped but now I can set a type on the list I declare here with inside the diamond brackets that I will only allow string objects to go into the list this is a generic list now and it has the type string the generic type string uh, now you can see these three lines are still valid but all of a sudden it's no longer valid to add in an integer to the list so um, I can now delete it now that uh, the list is uh, generic if I want to get an object out of the list string my string equals my list get zero like this you see normally I would have to cast the element obtained from the list to a string but this is not necessary because the list is typed and the compiler knows that only strings can come out of the list so um, the get method can only return a list so um, typing is, or typecasting is no longer necessary when you uh, retrieve elements from the list and then there's um, there are some other advantages when you are iterating the list uh, for instance um, you can create an iterator and this iterator 2 can be typed and um, it looks like this um, and now uh, the iteration looks the same Um, but uh, you can see now the iterator uh, that next method returns string objects because the list is typed and then normally I would also have to do a cast here 
to a string, but this is also no longer necessary. So the code gets a little bit shorter. And um, there's also another way to iterate the list. Let me just um, show you that. You can use the, the, the for each loop. So I can write it like this for string next, uh, my list like this. And then for each iteration, uh, this loop will iterate once for each object in the list and for each uh, iteration the variable next will be bound to the current uh, element in the list or the next element in the list. So the first iteration will be bound to this object 1, the second iteration to object 2, st the string, these strings, and then in the last iteration to object 3. And then I can, uh, for instance, uh, just print out next here. So, and that is all I had planned to say about the list for this time. There are more things to to learn about the, the list interface and the list implementations, but once you start working with them, you will learn all the, the little details there, there are to, to learn about them. And you know enough now to get started using them. So just go out there and get some practice with the list.